What's going on guys? It's Anthony Lee. Um, today we're going to be showing a little bit of the uh, Digimon Online Regional this past weekend. Um, I did pretty well these past few regionals so I just wanted to showcase uh, some of the matches that I was playing. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Imperial. I'm playing Imperial at the bottom versus Yellow Rapid on the top. Um, my buddy on the top, this is round three. He played um, against Primitive earlier in this day. So he went up against the uh, Imperial matchup already. So he has a fair idea of what to do against me. But um, let's see how it goes. So in the opening sequence, he opened off with Patamon and then a TK. He grabbed the yellow memory boost off of his security. Um, already a good start for him. Um, and my opening hand, if I remember correctly, was terrible. I bricked really hard, no rookies. I have uh, opening Davis and Kem, which is pretty good. But other than that, I think I had only Megas and Options in my hand, if I remember correctly. I had uh, like maybe one or two Mega Deaths. I think I had two Pyodramons that Davis can and then something else I drew. Maybe even a level six. His turn, he played um, the Sword... No, the... Uh, TK Kari to set me to one, to choke me to one, and on my turn, I followed up with the uh, Rager Mon hard play for five, leaving him at four. So for him, I left that out there knowing that it's going to get blown up if he had Rapid Mon. So on his turn, he promoted, played Yellow Memory Boost, and searched for his Yellow Rapid. And I see there, there was a Jet Sophie, and Edens, and a Javelin that had to go to the bottom. So he didn't technically have the Rapid in hand, he had to search for it, or maybe he does, I don't know. So he deleted my Rager Mon. Um, put me to f uh, three, I believe, and then gain the memory off of the Patamon. And then I follow up with my own Mega Death because I had really nothing to do. <laughs> put him to three. He played Zoe. Um, and if I believe, he didn't grab anything off of that Zoe. So it just leads me to believe that his security is super stacked. So I'm scared. He's already set up with uh two tamers a yellow memory boost and then a zephyr on board thank god i drew into a madoki so evil madoki in the back line went to xv and then played my own davis leaving him at four which is a lot of memory but there's not much i can do thankfully i got to grab two targets off of that so i have four memory he evoed into jet sophie for one recovered one swung and hit the hammer spark thank god because it forced him to pop his uh, yellow memory boost to go to three so that he can extend his plays uh, by going into another kazimon i believe and then going into another jet sophie to recover one so at this point i think he has seven security to my four um he decided to take a risky swing swinging into my magna 7k trade and then from there, he played another yellow memory boost. I think he was open to it because, uh, open to popping his earlier one because he had another one in hand. So he didn't feel too bad popping that memory boost. Uh, my turn, I raised with the XV, go to four because of Davis and Ken, and took a risky swing at security. Thank God it lived because of jamming. Play Stingmon for three, go to one, and then go into Pyodramon. There's nothing in the bottom deck, but it allows me to swing over his Jet Sophie and to keep uh, board control. So I swing over that, unsuspend, draw two. Um, I decided to swing one more time just to be a little greedy because I know that if he does have to Evo onto his Tamers, he won't be able to swing over my Pyo. So I swing one more time and then play the Vmon just to search. So I search for this EX uh, Vmon, gain a memory, and pass turn. So here it's looking a little rough for my guy. I mean, he has a good life lead and I'm only at three health, but I uh, secured board presence and I've managed to keep them alive. So therefore, um, I get the memory boost from the Davis and Ken, go to, f uh, go to five, play the Vmon in the back. And this is when I proceed to start swinging. So I know that he recovered the TK, so I felt comfortable swinging my Vmon into it. He recovered another TK. And I asked him to split. I had a feeling, you know, because online tournaments, you can never be too, too sure. So just ask him, uh, ask Buddy to split the security for me, which actually came in clutch. 
Swing into security. Jamming lives. Swing again. One more check. Drew a card. So now he's sitting at three. I could just either pass turn or make a play to where he doesn't gain the memory off of the, the TK Kari. But with so many memory boosts, I'd had to try to extend for game right now. So I go into Lobo Mon on my Davis. Use hidden potential to tap it down. Go into fighter mode for free, but using my Davis again to unsuspend my Imperial, allowing me to swing twice, leaving Buddy at one security. And here I believe I had game or was at a uh, kill threat, so I played the Stigmon for three, go into Payo for free. And this should be game with two swings. So swing, unsuspend, hit security, wyverns. That security was stacked. So at this point, I'm like, okay, what can I do? I have four bodies on board. He can't do anything except potentially recover or use a memory boost. So I play Madoki, block the memory boost. So all he can really do is Evo on his line. Oh, he forgot that I had Madoki on board. And <laughs> he tried to do that. Oh, no. So he decided to go on the Patamon, then go into Rapid, blow up my two rookies. But yeah, from there, he couldn't recover enough or clear board in time. So now going into game two, uh, making a good comeback off of Bricking. He sets me off to start. So I start off with a rookie in the back and then a blue memory boost, grabbing XV, the Omnimon, and Madoki goes to the bottom, which feels bad, but it's okay. So his turn, he plays Cody, and then followed up with a yellow memory boost, and then playing the Patamon in the back. Don't remember what he got off of the yellow memory boost. I believe it was another Rapid or something. So knowing that he had Rapid, I didn't want to promote. Play the Vmon, grab the, uh, the Ragermon, and put him at two. So at this point, I'm trying to force him to raise and then try to like kill my Vmon with his Rapid, but you know that's not worth it at that point. So he popped his memory boost, put himself to four, and then played reinforced to put me to two. And I think at this point, uh, it became a crucial part of the game. He recovered his TK, or no, he put the TK on top and then grabbed Ophanimon. And with that knowledge, I just decided to just try to choke him as much as possible, not allowing him to uh, advance board state. So he played Salomon hard play and left me at two, which was perfect for me. So I evoed into Ragermon, suspended, swung over 5k over the two. And then from here, I'm deciding if I wanted to pop the, the memory boost so that I can play Davis to put him at two, but there's no point because he can just pop his own boost. Or even if he wanted to, he could raise, gain the memory off of the Cody, uh, kill the Ragermon, and still be at his turn. So I just said, here, have four um, and have fun. So he played uh, Rapid for four, killed my dude, gained a memory because he killed something. And he decided to take a risky swing. I think this was actually very bad that he swung. He hit Magna using Armor Purge, leaving Pata uh, unsuspended. Or suspended, sorry. If he would have just kept that dude alive and just had like a board presence. Maybe he was thinking that I could possibly just bounce it to hand. So he just wanted to take a good check. But for me, I just felt like it was too risky. So I swung. Um into the Patamon, gain a memory, put me to four because of the Vmon, drew a card from the Demi-V. And with four memory, um, knowing that the next check was gonna be the TK, I just decided not to swing and instead try to advance board state and try to go wide. So I revealed the top four, grabbed the, uh, the dragon mode, and then evoed for a two to put him to one. So following turn, he can't use his Cody to gain memory because he has nothing on board. And then if he does want to like try to do something like two moves or two plays, he would have to pop his boost in order to play two cards. So instead, he plays a uh, TK Kari to pass turn, set me to three, and which I hatch, go to Vmon, hard play the Stingmon. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to swing. I'm just trying to go wide here. Go into Paiyul free and then i believe a hammer spark and then evil to the back to leave him at one there you go hammer spark evil the vmon into xv set him to one so now he can't do anything except uh evil on his back 
like on his tamers and then pass turn or he just straight up hard passed because he just didn't want any of his uh hybrids in hand to just uh you know die for no reason or get bottom deck for no reason so follow turn i decided i wanted to keep my xv in the back um because i just didn't want it to die but in retrospect after looking at this game i should have just promoted that way the following turn i can hatch and have a body to swing the following following turn if that makes sense so um here i go put him to one and i believe he passed again he didn't want to do anything or play anything or risk anything i believe i don't know what was in his hand um if it was really that bad but uh, I swung Stingmon. I think it was time to start swinging, so I swung Stingmon into his TK knowing that it wasn't going to die. I swing uh, Pyodramon at security, gain a memory, draw a card, and unsuspend. The reason I did that is so that I can have four threats swinging next turn. So I hit Wyverns. He decided, after thinking for a bit, to kill the XV. So there, like, if he did that, I was still going to go into Paiyu anyways, but now I won't have jamming, which I still think it was a good idea for him. So I swing with Paiyu, unsuspend, draw a card from the Stingmon, hit the 6k, he lives, swing one more time, draw a card, another Wyverns. So he took down the other Paiyu stack, which was really good. I go into fighter mode for two, go to two, uh, swing, unsuspend, 13. Oh, Edens. So there he has 11 cards in hand, minusing 11 into the Paiyo. Unfortunately, he didn't have the 13 to kill the, the, uh, the fighter mode. So at this point, I decided I could swing one more time, but I just didn't want to risk my fighter mode dying and leaving me like with a weak board state. So I decided to hammer spark, go to Madoki, and then play the blue memory boost so that therefore I have four uh, memory delays in the back so that I could technically go to seven on my turn, hitting the Lobo off of it, which is really, really clutch. So on his turn, I put him to three, he goes to five because it's a TK Kari, but he can't use the um, the memory boost because of Madoki, denying memory gain. So he goes into the Kazimon for two, go to Jet Sophie for one, leaving him at two, recover, so leaving him at two health as well. And then from here, I believe he can only do uh, one of two things, either go into the Alfanimon, which he did, or go into another Kazimon and then going to Jet Sophie again to recover. But in, other than that, there's no way for him to really clear board or recover enough. So he kind of just has to recover and hope that his security is so broken that it'll fuck me up. So draw for turn, hatch, Evo in the back line, swing with the dragon mode or the fighter mode unsuspend, leaving me with uh, another potential two swings if something does die. So let's say something does die, I'll also have like another swing. Swing again, hit the oh, uh, Susano, but dies. But at that point it was too late. Hit Madoki and then Lobo for a game. Yeah, this was a... Uh, pretty clutch comeback for me uh, considering game one and then game two i kind of just had to play it safe and just work around his his tamers and his security and just ended up clutching out the game but yeah guys um if you like content like this or more um digimon you know content or digimon duels i'll be posting some more uh i got some more online regional tools that I have saved and then I'm also planning on doing some in-person local uh, recordings so maybe I can also do some local matches for you guys so if you like this just let me know leave a comment just let me know how I did and if there's anything that I could also do better this was just a random one take no edits and uh, yeah we'll see you from there appreciate you all for watching uh, please leave a like and subscribe and watch out for the next video deuces